Hi, and welcome to The Wine Group. I'm Kate Hardy, and I'm the CEO of this incredible company that you're joining. I am so glad you're here. You're joining a company with a storied history and a deep culture, a culture that values things like innovation, entrepreneurship, integrity, all of which create to combine a place where you as a new employee can have impact from the very first day. We're gonna talk more about our culture in a bit here, but first, let's learn more about the history of this company and how it came to be such a special place. The Wine Group story began in Ripon, California, back in 1906, when a young Italian immigrant couple purchased 80 acres of land and planted their first vineyard. Giuseppe and Teresa Franzia sold their grapes and shipped them by train to customers in Chicago and on the East Coast. At the same time, they were also growing their family, five sons and two daughters. As one of the Valley's most successful growers, the Franzias were also doing a fair amount of socializing. Prominent people of the day, including A.P. Giannini, founder of the Bank of Italy, which later became Bank of America, would stop by and enjoy Teresa's homemade pastas paired with Giuseppe's wines. Then, Prohibition hit. The frustration took its toll on Giuseppe, and this period found him spending six months of every year in Italy. Meanwhile, Teresa kept busy. Recognizing opportunity, as soon as Prohibition was repealed, she jumped in her horse-drawn carriage, went to San Francisco, met with A.P. Giannini, and secured a $10,000 loan against the family vineyards. Teresa divided up the money amongst her sons and her new son-in-law, Ernest Gallo. Together, her five boys started the Franzia Brothers Winery. Giuseppe was outraged when he returned to California and learned about the loans. But that money led to the founding of what has become two of the largest wineries in the world, Gallo and the Wine Group. Nice work, Teresa. In 1973, the Franzia Brothers sold their winery to Coca-Cola Bottling of New York, which also owned the Mogan David Wine Company. The company hired Art Sioka as the CEO of their new wine division. By the summer of 1981, Coca-Cola Bottling was ready to sell, and sensing opportunity again, Art and six of his employee partners formed the Wine Group and purchased the assets, including Franzia, Mogan David, and Tribuno Vermouth. With the sale, the Wine Group lost the purchasing power of Coca-Cola and its volume discount for glass, which made it impossible to compete against larger volume wineries. So, with that same entrepreneurial spirit that we were founded on, the Wine Group gambled on new packaging, the bag in box. And today, Franzia Box Wine is one of the most popular wines in the world. In 2012, the Concanon Winery joined our family. With a rich history that dates back to 1883, their leadership in establishing Cabernet Sauvignon in California was a perfect fit as the wine group moved into the premium wine market. Our expansion into premium wine continued with the 2014 launch of Chloe Wine Collection, and again in 2015, when we had the good fortune of acquiring Sonoma Valley's Benziger Family Winery. Famous for their pioneering green farming practices, we are honored to continue their tradition of creating outstanding quality wines. The Wine Group's success has endured with a series of strong brand launches, acquisitions, and category creations. Ava Grace, Imagery, and Tribute are our most recent launches, while the brands Besso del Sol and Seven Deadly are our latest acquisitions. But the most profound addition to our portfolio is our first to market product, Cupcake Lighthearted, the industry's first lower calorie, lower alcohol wine option. Today, the Wine Group is a global organization comprised of vineyards, wineries, bottling, and production facilities throughout California, as well as in New York and Australia. We succeed as an industry leader by embracing the culture and values upon which we were founded. As with any successful company, it's the people that make the difference. And we are lucky to have the finest professionals in the industry working at the Wine Group. Our mission statement was crafted to leverage their talents and outstanding abilities. Our mission statement at the Wine Group is to create long-term value in a culture built on stewardship, entrepreneurialism, teamwork, focus, and integrity.
delivering on our vision and mission is dependent on our unique culture here at TWG. It's a culture that requires us to deliver long-term sustainable value creation by being relentlessly entrepreneurial through empowered people who are responsible and trustworthy. Culture is so important. It's the identity and personality of the company. And, uh, and folks get excited when, they're, uh, when they buy into the culture of a company. Now, the culture of the wine group really encourages you to uh, collaborate, to be creative, to encourage, inspire, listen, share ideas. It's, it's really, it's like family. It's lean, it's results oriented, it's focused, it's dedicated, and it's very fast paced. We often act like a startup, even though we're a very large company, and we don't have too much bureaucracy, too many processes in place. We try to move as quickly as we possibly can. It is not as structured about what your role is, what your title is. You need to have an entrepreneurial mindset. Because we entrust so much responsibility to an individual and you are making a lot of your own decisions, you need to be able to run with those decisions. You need to be able to navigate through the gray areas, feel comfortable doing that. And what's very important here is just a spirit of teamwork. And that's very important for us. You know, as a lean company, I think when everybody's pulling together, that's extremely important. And we actually work very hard to make sure that, that happens every day. We are a team of hardworking, high integrity, honest people with clear focus to win. Our commitment at The Wine Group is to deliver long-term sustainable value creation through stewardship, cost mindfulness, and social responsibility. Stewardship means each and every one of us takes a responsibility to make sure that this place is better than when we got here. Cost mindfulness involves everyone taking a look at costs and making sure that they're meaningful to the customer, treating the money as if it's our own. And social responsibility means that the company and each of us individually has a responsibility to consider what we owe back to society. Stewardship leads to long-term value creation and that we often tell people, treat the company like it's your own. And my role is to leave the position in a better place than when I got here. And if everybody does that across the organization, the wine group will continue to thrive. And that's our entire goal. Our goal is for this company to be in business, doing well in a leadership position in 100 years. We have a responsibility to be um, environmentally sound, we have a responsibility, obviously, to treat our people well, to be a good employer, to be an employer of choice, to grow the community as we grow our business. Being relentlessly entrepreneurial involves being simple and lean, enterprising, and innovative. Simple and lean is about reducing complexity, finding efficient ways to do things. Enterprising involves taking calculated risks to drive the business forward. And being innovative involves creative thinking, coming up with new ways to do things that are going to be successful. The Wine Group is relentlessly relentless because that's our business model. Our business model is to be different and more unique than the competition. We're going to be quicker than them. We are going to outthink them. We're going to be faster than them. We're going to make decisions that are right. We are a lean organization and we are very entrepreneurial, which means that we are quick to act and we are quick to pivot when we need to. And so to have that, which means that we are entrepreneurialism. Um, but the ability of feeling like a large wine business that can make a true impact on the industry is something that's unique that you can't find anywhere else. Empowered people are performance oriented, have a sense of urgency, and are focused on continuous improvement. Performance oriented people are fixated on delivering results. People with a sense of urgency focus on the right things in a timely way. And continuous improvement involves always getting better, looking for ways to make both you and the company better. The way empowerment, I think, really benefits employees is it gives them ownership. We're, we're a management-owned company, so there's nothing more empowering than that. When people have that power, that sense of responsibility, that ultimate accountability, they really, really benefit from it and they grow. 
I love working here because I come in every day with a group that are goals oriented, they are driven to succeed, and the team here is, is, is just constantly focused on making things better and continuous improvement. Sense of urgency, you have to get it done. You have to understand that it needs to be done. Um, it's, it's, and it's, the key is prioritizing, right? I mean, we have a million things that we need to get done in a day, but it's the ability to recognize the ones that, I better get to these ones first. People who are responsible and trustworthy have integrity, are ethical, and are committed to teamwork. Integrity just means doing what you say you're going to do. Being ethical involves knowing implicitly what's right and what's wrong. And being a good teammate means you understand that the results of the team are more important than your individual accolades. Having that inherent trust, not only for your own direct team members, but for anybody else in the organization and knowing that they have the integrity and the ethics to do the right thing by you and by the rest of the company is critical for all of us to be able to work successfully. And everything revolves around teamwork and collaboration. Especially within our industry and within our business, you have to rely on people from a lot of different cross-functional areas to, to get things done. Our winemakers, without the great work they put in to make the best wine possible, we couldn't win. Without our operations folks making sure that all the bottling schedules are right, all of the wine is being shipped out to the proper distributors, without our marketing folks, we wouldn't be able to tell the right stories, the right brand stories to bring the, to consumers. There are so many different touch points, there's so many different interactions that without collaboration, not only will we not win, we wouldn't survive. And we're all about leadership, collaboration, uh, we have a no jerks policy. We don't want to work with jerks. Life's too short to work with jerks. The no jerks policy means that you you treat people the way you would want to be treated. And it, you have the freedom to be able to have that dialogue and that um, you need to be respectful of each other's opinions and you need to listen and incorporate those into decisions that you're making. People love working at the wine group because you know what? We value everybody's contribution to our success. Everybody's important. We give people opportunities to develop and we give people opportunities to be appreciated for the skill sets they have. I love this job because I love to talk to my growers and learn from them and work with them. They're, they're out there every day growing grapes. Crush is the most exciting time of the year. I mean, we're a winery. We make wine, that's what we do. And the scale of, how we do, the scale of what we do is pretty, pretty fantastic. We crush it, wineries all up and down the state. This is delicious. This is something that um, I want to share with my friend. This is something I want to, you know, show my mom. I want, this is something I want to gift to my my boss. That sense of delight where you found something that you want to share. And you know, we're we're a sales organization, and everybody wants to have success in the industry. But you know, we don't lose that personal interaction where we treat everybody with respect and do things, I, I think, in the long term. And that, that's always been, to me, why I, I thought it's always been a special place for me to be with. And I think people like working with other people they like, people that they enjoy being around. And you know what? The wine group has a lot of really great people that are fun to work with. That's the culture we have here. That's why people love working at the wine group. The folks that are successful in our company are the folks that dream big, that are optimistic, the ability to work through any kind of problem with a smile on your face and get stuff done. Someone who is creative, someone who is driven, someone who is flexible, um, somebody who's a great communicator, somebody who can take some criticism, and somebody who can give culture we have here. That kind of employee that fits with this culture has no agenda. Uh, they are focused on their team. They're focused on performance. Uh, they're, they're really focused on, on building the company so that we are creating long-term value. It's a person with high integrity um, that is respectful of um, not only themselves, but of other people. It's a person that listens to others and um, wants to make a difference, that recognizes that um, they're empowered to be able to uh, drive their own, their own career path and they're empowered to make a difference right where they're at. People are the most important part of the wine group. We believe in giving our employees every opportunity to grow and develop and learn new skills over what I hope will be a many, many years with our company. Thank you for joining TWG, and I look forward to seeing the impact you're going to have on our company.